So there's a weapon in Fallout 4, and you don't like it. So why should you have to play with it? Matter of fact, why should you even have to see it? It's your game, and mods exist. And more importantly, simple edits in the Fallout 4 edit can just make it go away. Forever. So why wouldn't you do that? Today, we're going to be talking about how to replace weapons in Fallout 4 with ones that you prefer. Not only vanilla ones, but even modded ones. So if you don't want the combat shotgun for whatever reason, you can just poof it out of existence and replace it with something else with just a couple of lines of text. So that's what we're going to check out today. And all you're going to need is your favorite weapon to replace it with and Fallout 4 edit. Let's go ahead and begin. So for starters, we're going to be using this method labeled how to replace weapons. It's an article on the Nexus. It's actually by Gathorthu, and it goes over many of the various ways to replace weapons using Fallout 4 edit. So if you want to read this yourself, I'm going to go ahead and link it in the description below, but we're also going to just do it in Fallout 4 edit on screen so you can actually see exactly what it looks like and know what you're doing. So first things first, like I said, you're going to need whatever weapon you're going to be using to replace with. So that's going to be either a vanilla weapon or a modded one. If it is modded, you're going to need to download and install it. And you're also going to need Fallout 4 Edit. Now, this isn't a Fallout 4 Edit tutorial, so I'm just going to operate under the assumption that you have it installed and you have a semi-decent knowledge of what it is. If you don't, go check out a tutorial. I'm sure there are plenty on YouTube available. Now, even if you're completely new to Fallout 4 Edit, this should be relatively easy to follow, so I'm going to try to keep it nice and simple. For starters, we're going to find the weapon you're actually going to be using to replace. So for my example, we're going to be replacing the base pipe pistols with the 9mm pistol mod by Deadpool2099. So, in order to find that file, at the very bottom here, we're going to use the search, and I'm going to type in 9M, and the only thing that pops up for me is going to be the 9mm pistol. So we're going to go ahead and unfold that by clicking the little plus button. And then from there, we're going to search for the weapon tab. We're going to open that up as well. And here we have the ID codes for all of the variants of the 9mm pistol. We're going to be using the base variant of the 9mm. We don't want to use the rest of these, all of the unique variants. Now, once you have this, select the version that you're going to be editing and using to replace your vanilla weapon. Then we're going to head over to the right and search for a tag that says editor ID. And here we see 9mm underscore pistol. We're going to right click that. We're going to select edit. We're going to give it a couple of seconds to say that yes, we are absolutely sure. And then you're going to change the name to the name of the editor ID for the weapon you're using. Now, luckily, the article that I have linked down below has all of these IDs in there for all of the vanilla weapons, so you don't have to do any digging. And the same goes for the ID codes that we'll be needing later. So since I'm replacing the pipe guns, I'm going to type in pipe gun with capital P as well as capital G. And then we're going to select OK. And now there's one more thing we need to do. We're going to right click on the pipe gun itself. As you can see here, it is relabeled now to pipe gun 9mm. We're going to right click it. We're going to change form ID. And from here, we're going to insert the ID code for the pipe guns in the vanilla game, which again, all of the vanilla weapons ID codes are in that article in the description below. So now that I have that, we're going to go ahead and paste it in, select OK. Now you may be prompted with a pop-up like this. This is every instance that our 9mm might appear in the game using the ID that we replaced. Now there are a couple of really important notes. Things you're going to be looking for if you're using a modded weapon are specifically things like this right here, the quest ID. This is actually the script that injects your weapon into the leveled lists. Now there are two options here. One of which is to update the record by just clicking that checkbox there. That's going to update it with the new ID that we have, causing it to spawn with the leveled list script, as well as with our replacement to the vanilla weapon. So there will actually be two instances spawning this weapon, which can get a little cluttered, but if you want the weapon appearing more often, that is an option. The other option is to leave that alone for now, go in afterwards, find these quests, and delete them. That way, the only instance of your weapon is spawning via the replacement that you did to the vanilla weapon. So, really important to do this step just to kind of clean your game up and make sure that everything's running smoothly and not trying to spawn any invalid IDs. Either way, whether you're updating or deleting, just go ahead and select OK when you're finished, and that is it. So, what you're going to want to do from here, you're going to press Control S, 
which is going to save it. We're going to click OK, and then we're going to exit out. Now, once that is all complete, we're going to make sure that this actually works in game. So I have loaded up just after showing you how to do it yourself. I'm going to open up the console. I'm going to do player dot add item and then the code for the pipe pistol, the base pipe pistol, which should no longer be in my game. I'm going to hit enter. And when we exit the console, you'll see I have obtained a muzzled calibrated nine millimeter pistol. And I already tried this one, so I actually have two of them. Here's the regular one, as well as the muzzle calibrated one that we got right there. And this replaces all instances of it. For example, if we head over to the cheat terminal, just so you show that I'm not fibbing, <laughs> we're going to head over to items, weapons, guns, rifles. Uh, actually, no, it's pipe has its own category. Sorry. Pipe. And then we'll do pipe pistol. And there we go. Nine millimeter pistol added. And this also applies to the pipe rifles. There we go, recoil compensated 9mm pistol. So it just works. I believe that even covers the pipe submachine guns. Yep, there we go, suppressed hair trigger 9mm pistol. And this can be done for all sorts of stuff. For example, if we go to rifles, you'll see that I've actually replaced the assault rifle in my game. If we grab one with the service rifle. Sorry, that took me a... <laughs> I was worried at first, but that is the marksman rifle, which is the service rifle in reality. There, that's the one we got via the console there. So it just works. Now, keep in mind that when you edit these files, you're actually editing the file of the mod. So if you ever get rid of the mod, it will resort back to the vanilla state. Now, finally, just make sure that everything worked. It should, it really should. It's a relatively simple thing, but just in case something got messed up, you don't want your game to be broken. Take a couple minutes to check out and make sure that the weapon is actually in game. Try to spawn it in. Go and find places that the vanilla weapon would normally spawn and see if they're correctly replaced. And also keep in mind that existing versions of the vanilla weapon will be broken. For example, in my case, if I had a pipe weapon in my inventory, it may not have converted to a 9mm very nicely. So just keep that in mind. This probably isn't the best idea to be doing mid-game, although it is doable. But as with any mod, maybe save it for a new playthrough. So, like I said, go out there, do some testing, spawn the weapon in, and if everything seems like it's working, then, well, good job. You created your own Fallout 4 edit and replaced a weapon with something that you prefer. And this can be done with other items in the game. Just be careful, do your research, and make sure you know what you're doing in Fallout 4 edit. Most importantly, if something did go wrong, all of these files that we edited, if done correctly, should have only edited the modded weapon. So... Just reinstall the mod, and everything should be back to normal. Everything should be just fine. And most importantly, you are now editing the file that another mod author has created. And for personal use, this is okay. You're just making tweaks, and it stays in your game, and that's it. Do not release this as a mod. Do not put it on the Nexus, and do not share it unless you have explicitly gotten the mod author's permission because you are now editing their work. So keep that in mind. You don't want to plagiarize. You don't want to share their mod without their permission. Really important part that I wanted to throw in. If you intend on making this replacement with a vanilla weapon, be careful and make backups of all of your files because you don't want anything to go wrong. Luckily, that is a feature in Fallout 4 Edit. So something to keep in mind. And with that, I hope this tutorial helped you. I know that there are just a handful of weapons in Fallout 4 that maybe I don't want to see very often. In my case, it's that just awful assault rifle in the base game. So I hope this helped. I hope you learned something. And most importantly, I hope this made your modding experience better. Anything I can do to improve the Fallout or Skyrim experience for anybody out there is just pleasure on my part. So I really hope this did you something right. Either way, if you enjoyed the video, drop a rating. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Fallout 4 and Skyrim modding videos just like this one. And don't forget to go out and check out that article down below. Lots of useful tips down there, and you can actually endorse it as well to show the author of that article some love. Just something to keep in mind. Alrighty, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace! And hey, shout out to all of our patrons for their continued support. As always, your donations are greatly appreciated and help to fund videos just like this one. So, again, thank you.